Hi everyone, it's Shell from Scrap Secrets and Oreo. We have a haul video for you tonight. I got some things from Honey Bee Stamps when they had a sale the other day. And then I also forgot to cancel my Hero Arts kit for last month. It's okay, I will use some of the stuff, not everything. And then I did see the preview for this month's kit and I'm excited about that because it is Christmas. So I'm gonna try to do this the best that I can with this little stinker because he has just been super, super clingy as you can see. I've tried to do this video a couple times. I opened up the box for Honeybee and he just wants to be held and cuddled and he just really doesn't want to sit still. He's actually been trying to get up onto the desk for the most part like he is right now and uh, kind of get in the way of everything. But we are going to do our best around it. All right, so let's start with Honeybee. I got this Teflon bone folder. I had another one and I think it was from Lawn Fawn. No clue where it is. Uh, the cats could have it somewhere playing. It could be hiding. I mean, it didn't grow legs and walk away. So it is here somewhere in this craft room. Have no idea where it is. But I decided to get this one because it was on sale. This is the large. I believe they have a smaller one. I know they had a double set of them. I decided to just do the larger one. My point was kind of dulling in the one that I had. So this one is brand new, nice and kind of sharp. So it will make nice creases in my cards. And then I love this end here for the ability to hold on to it and just go ahead and crease the cards. So really cute bone folder. This is the large one. It is pretty heavy though. I don't remember if the Lawn Fawn one was as heavy as this. Next thing is the free with 100. This is the die set for August and it's two different tags. So you have this uh, scallop tag and then the plain one. Looks like these are floral pieces, possibly a stem and a bow. So you can use that bow just kind of the top at all. You can use, put sentiments on here. There's so many different things you can do with this. This is a very versatile set. Uh, it did come in this really cute bag. So I carefully took off the, uh, or cut the sticker. I'm going to try to take this off carefully because I love this packaging. You can use that on something else or I'll probably just hoard it knowing me. Next up are these Distress Mica stains and this one is Phantom Mist, Specimen, and Ominous Twilight. So this one's a purple. I think this one is like a green and then this one is a bluish gray maybe. I don't remember when I ordered them. I bought them for a reason and I don't really remember now. Next two things I bought are Distress Oxide Sprays and I got the Lumberjack Plaid and the Pine Needles. Thought these would be really great for the Christmas series. If you guys are unaware of what that is, make sure that you check out the last couple of videos. We had day one for the Countdown to Christmas series already and I am super excited. Marie and I from Marie's Vermont Creations, we have partnered up again this year to do 25 days of Christmas and um, very excited about that. So check out the intro video and day one if you guys haven't already and there's prizes, giveaway things. So make sure that you check that out. We're having so much fun doing it, but wanted to make sure I got some supplies for the series. Uh, I also got the Dilutions Shimmer Spray in... This is slate gray. So you really can't tell, but it's like a, it's a pretty gray color or like silvery color. Okay. And now on to the dyes and stencils that I got. I did not get any stamps. I don't believe, I don't think I, no, I didn't get any stamps this time, which is kind of crazy. First one that I got is this little red wagon, and this would be really cute with some Christmas things on it, decorated for Christmas. Um, I think there's a lot of things you could do with this, so I might be using this in my Christmas series. The next one is the Palm Beach cover plate, and I don't know if there are stencils for this or not. I forgot to check. There probably are. There is one that I think, I think there's uh, hillside, country hillside, something like that with uh, scene builders like this. And then there's another one. There's one that I have. Oh, the lake one. And there are coordinating stencils with that, which I love because then you can color in things without having to worry about what's next to it. Oh, I think there are stencils for this. If there are, I will eventually be putting them in my cart. The next thing I got, these two go together. This is the party blower 
coordinating stencil and dies. So you have the dies here, and then here's the stencil. I know you can't really see it, but I'm going to show you guys this. This is one of the things that I, I love so much about Honey Bee, but this is one of the things that I absolutely love about them. They come with these idea cards. So one, it shows you how to layer the, the pieces up, but then it also gives you inspiration on here. Plus this is the QR reader to see project samples using these products. Honey Bee just does it right. I, can't, I can never complain about their stuff. Their stuff is always fantastic. So there are multiple designs in on the stencil that will create these different patterns. So you can mix and match and make your own. The next thing that I got is very similar to this and it is called the Party Hat. It's a coordinating stencil and the die set. So here is the die set. And then you have these, which you probably can't really see. So I'm going to show you this again with the phenomenal images so you can see everything and what it all looks like cut out and then how you can ideas for assembly again another qr reader to go ahead and see projects with these fantastic these next couple ones are all stencils this one if you guys remember my obsession with turnabout stamps I have not done one of those in a really, really long time, and I probably should for the Christmas series. I might at some point, but this is the, it's very similar to it. It gives you a very similar look, I believe, and it's called It's a Party Set of Six Stencils. So I know with the glare, it's really super bad. You can't see this, but there's all different kinds of party objects. So there are the hats, there's a piece of candy, there's cupcakes, there's a cake, there's a slice of cake. There are roses, um, cupcake liners. So what you do is you line up every single one of these and you don't have to turn anything. You just do it and you just do different colors on each layer and you will get images. So I can't wait to use that one. This one, now I feel like I might already have this now that I'm looking at it, but this is the streamers. So this is a three layer set. It has the streamers and then some confetti in here. And I don't know what the third layer is, but there are three sets in here. You can kind of see it. I apologize for the glare. I don't know unless I take these out. Uh, this one was just a basic design and I liked it. It's called Scattered Seeds. There you go. Just has a pretty design on it. I thought this would be a nice background. And the last thing I got from Honeybee Stamps is something that I've been wanting for a little while. Again, they give you this idea card so it shows everything cut out, gives you ideas on how to layer things. You can layer them open, close, you know, all different kinds of things that you can do with them. You can also, if you just wanted to do like a closed piece of luggage, you could cut this part off and then keep that and then you know, just stick a piece over top of it. You see you know how sometimes the edges are darker than the inside. You could just do the same color cardstock. You, there are so many different things you could do with this. Actually, I think that if you don't put anything on, it actually cuts out like this. So you wouldn't even have to do that. So you just cut this piece off here and then you could just have your regular piece of luggage and you could you know, if you didn't want the handle on the side or you don't want the handle at the top, however you wanted to do it, but you could make it open, open suitcase, closed suitcase, lots of different things for vacations. Great for scrapbooking. If I ever get back into that, um, or just, you know, pictures from any of my vacations, which I have not printed any in a while. All right. So let's get on to the hero arts. I doubt they watch my videos, but I do have to say, I do like this, that they did put some branding on there. It's a little bit different. Normally it comes in just a plain black box. They did put a little spider, cute. Obviously you can guess the theme of this box. So this is the September box. And two of the first things that I opened up hurts this. I don't know if it's washi tape, but it is, it's clear. And then there's pumpkins with all different kinds or jack-o'-lanterns with all different kinds of faces on it. And then this one are, these are crows. Don't know that I would use this. Possibly could, maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, here is the Hero Studio for September. Gives you a couple ideas on here. Again, I like this, but it really only gives you 
ideas for a couple of the stamps in here. Um, it doesn't give you ideas for some of the other pieces. So I don't like that. I do, I, you know, I prefer Honeybee's way of doing things better where it gives you like ideas for everything. It shows you everything cut out. So here is the large stamp set on here. And these kind of remind me of the hero scapes a little bit without the, with the exception of they don't layer, but, um, I don't know that I would really use this in all honesty. I don't make Halloween cards and it's, it's just okay. It's not my, it's not really my jam. The, um, the sneak peek for the Christmas one is a little bit better. Here are some animals, which are cute. I mean, again, nothing that I'm super stoked about. This one here though, I don't understand it. It reminds me of seaweed. Um, maybe it's supposed to be a tree. I don't know. I feel like it might be out of place in here. I'm not really sure what this is because if you look at this, that's the, that's not this. And that's not this. So I'm not really sure because those are the trees that are on here, I think. Um, yeah, those are trees. So that's the tree on this. I'm not really sure what to do with this. I mean, I could cut it out and I'll see. Um, here are the coordinating dies for this. And then there's a pack of black cardstock, which I think I might've already used one of these off of to work on some cards. And then again, my favorite, the rub-ons, not super crazy about these. I don't know if these, I don't think these are like glow in the dark or anything. That would be a little bit cool if they were like glow in the dark ones, but I don't really think there's anything special about them. And I think they're just the same. They're a lot of the same as the images in here. Here, I mean, there's like a, a tree, a tree. I don't know. They're okay. But again, I don't really make Halloween cards. So I kind of wish I would have skipped this one. Um, after the Christmas ones are all done for Hero Arts, I probably am going to cancel. I know I said that before, but I think I am going to go ahead and cancel my subscription because I'm not really uh, loving the everyday boxes especially for the price. I don't think that you get as good of a value as you did before. And again, that's just my opinion. I know someone had commented that, you know, like I must not love hero arts or something like that. If you saw my craft room, you would know I have an entire one of these boxes dedicated to hero arts. I have all of these, the zipper pouches over there dedicated to hero arts. So it's not that I don't like them. I have a ton of stuff like right here. I'm actually looking at items and there are some hero scapes and there's the infinity dies right in front of me mixed in with some lawn fawn and some my favorite things i do have a lot of their products i do like a lot of their stuff i'm just not really crazy about their kits and that's fine because kits and everything it's everything that they make is not for everybody and i'm fine with that i will just buy the things that i like that's all uh, so i think i will be stopping the kits but Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below and make sure that you check out the Countdown to Christmas video. Friday, there will be video number two. And then next week is videos three and four. So there's gonna be a lot of inspiration for you guys. I know that it's kind of crazy that it's only October and we're already thinking about Christmas, but it'll be here before you know it. Oh, thank you guys. And I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.